So the shot, he gets the feet down quick, gets it set, and is able to get that shot released before a defender can really get a hand in his face. Cantor working against favors in the post. Cantor spins baseline. Nice touch by Cantor. Yeah, tough. Training camp was cut short. We don't have as many preseason games. Gary Trent Jr. to Cantor. Cantor has been delightful down low tonight. And another jumper falls for Cantor. He's five for five from the field. Rodney Hood does get to the paint. Cantor, short corner, six to shoot. Cantor. Goes back in time with the hook shots. Oh, went through the contact too. I thought there was some contact once he gathered the ball. Blazers with just one field goal this quarter so far to go along with one free throw. Cantor trying to work on the block against Wood. Nice little spin move. Coming out of spin doing is playing as hard as you can. Dang. Tries to go up with the left. Cantor with the offensive rebound. Puts it back in. And it's picking up where Nurk left off. That's a little completely wide open. CJ, beautiful yes. find over to the corner. Kicks it over to Mello. Cantor there for another offensive board. Well, the same way Christian Wood on one end of the floor looks up along the base. Bucko six left. Dame changes gears against Matthews. Cantor tries to finish around the rim. No luck. Jones Jr. able to pop it back up. Jones Jr. in the paint. A lot of deflections, but there's Cantor to clean it up once again. And that's the key to the game. Play big. You got to meet them with that same kind of force. And as Cantor came into this game, 11 of 12 from the field all the season. Decent point. Cantor does just enough to bother the two-point shot attempt by LeBron. Anthony Simons, fresh onto the court, feeds Cantor. Cantor with the finish. That's a nice pass from Anthony right away. Penetrate that Lakers defense with the pass or the dribble. And Anthony getting right to the heart of the lane. Cantor back to Dame. Almost thought about it. Cantor in the middle. Left hand around Davis. Fundamentals from Ennis. He couldn't go to the right hand because Anthony Davis would have cleaned that out. CJ with six points. Working against Jackson. Baseline jumper. That's off. Cantor there for the offensive rebound and puts it back in. He is so good. Over the last five seasons, when you look at offensive rebound and percentage, Ennis has finished third or better in each of the Mello trying to work against Jackson. 10 to shoot. Finds Cantor. Easy dunk down low. It looked like Zubots. He stepped out of the paint. Didn't want to get a defensive three seconds. And Mello saw it. But Had on they. most nights, when you're playing a different opponent, having this group as, as your white flag group, so to speak, this is a pretty good group. So there will be games this season if the Blazers don't play well through the third quarter. Terry Stotts. Oh, Ennis, I see you with the footwork. Great Cantor job. Cantor puts it back. Damn. But if Flips it to CJ. He's got four threes on the night. That's off, but Jones Jr. Good find. Finds Cantor. Easy bucket. Good find from Derek. And then once Looks again, different. and then he pulled up from 35 feet. So I feel like Golden State might end up suffering some of the same consequences as he threads the needle with the pass, gets the assist, and Ennis is going to get a chance for three. Cantor fresh into the game, gets a bucket. How about the connection here? Oh, that pass is beautiful. Right between both Warriors. I did not. I did not. I, I won't tell you how it is. Ooh. Oh, that's a hack. Cantor gets the loose ball. Pirouettes and off the glass. Well, yeah. Right on time. Moment. Baseball shows as a second defender. Dame. Three's no good. Cantor there to try and put it back in. Cantor fighting for it. Cantor. Gets the money. Hey, all them hyenas better move out the way. <laughs> Get hit one of them hooves. Two, good for 55%. Dame, deep three. Thought he was bothered by Wanamaker. Guess who with the ball? Cantor spinning over the top of Bazemore. Wow. <laughs> Great footwork to do all that and avoid a travel. Feel comfortable defensively. Vanderbilt, a key reason for the Minnesota comeback. His energy was infectious as Cantor works it around the corner. He had a lot of space. He's going to try to get to that middle. If you don't take it away, he'll continue on that path. Cantor leading the team in rebounds at just 20 minutes per game. Gary gets into the paint, finds Cantor. Nice feed. That was one Gary could have easily kept. But the unselfish play leads to the assist. Great points. 
Cantor with Bagley defending. Cantor trying to take Bagley into the weight room. And the and one for Ennis Cantor. He threw Bagley off. Bagley thought Ennis was going to plant with his feet left, right, and power up off of two feet. Ennis went into the gather, took the two steps, got more distance, got deep into the paint the time before, and he knew that that would be on Ennis' mind and that therefore Ennis would probably give him a little bit more space the next time around. Mello finds Cantor, nice feed. Good feed, good catch. Two-man game. You guys won the football game this year. Wait, wait. No, a you guys won the football game you this year. You know what? I forgot Lamar. about that. It's okay. We'll take the conference title instead. Oh, Ennis Cantor boy. puts it back in. Good board, Ennis. Out of those 14 players ahead of Ennis in the rebound and leaderboard, he's a, it's a real patience to his game, as you pointed out. CJ off the curl. Able to sky for the okay, offensive CJ. board. Flips the pass to Cantor. Don't blink. CJ, I see what you're doing. I caught that <laughs> after the bounce to get the board. <laughs> Simons gets the mellow screen. Mellow, two-point jump shot. Cantor able to get it off the top of the backboard. High bounce. He, he just got a great instinct. He knows how that ball's going to bounce, even when it takes the weird bounces on some part of the rim or the backboard. CJ with 10 to shoot. Sees the double team. Jones Jr. down low. Cantor gets the miss. Puts it in. Good pass. Put that ball up on the rim, man. This views it as a pass. It's coming to him. Rondo trying to go into the body of Cantor. Uh-uh. Jones Jr. tippy toes the baseline to save it. Mello in transition. Pull up three. Paint it. Dame finds Cantor down the lane. Puts it in and the foul. That's good stuff right there. Again, two-man game with Dame and Ennis. They're simplifying the game. Because Dame knows when he comes off of any type of action, that screener's defender, in this case is LaMarcus Aldridge, is, is going to be engaged in the play with Damon. So now he's just got to come off the basketball, and it requires Ennis to make the right play. His field goal percentage season was 49% with New York. And now you're out running. Hood with the quick hands. Jones Jr. loses it. Covington gets on the floor. Good nice pass, pass to Cantor. <laughs> the Blazers, terrific hustle. That's what they talk about when they say eyes in the back of the head. Knicks have really tried to get the ball out of the hands of Damian Lillard. Another double team comes. Cantor gallops down the lane. I like the change of pace from Ennis on the catch. It looked to me like when he first caught it, he might have thought about making a pass to the right side of the floor, which was the weak side. Good job of implementing just enough for now. You, you can't solve all of your issues, but you can give your team one, two things to really focus in on as Derek gets the open look, which is like a pass to Ennis. He thinks everything's a miss, so he chases every rebound. He's elite at that. But Jordan. Blazers with another stop. Nice job from Gary on the weak side, splitting two and getting out there, forcing that extra pass and allowing Derek and Ennis whirling, twirling into the two. Beautiful tip pass by Mello, but 50 seconds left. Dame's got to hustle. Two defenders. Ten to shoot for Portland. Simons trying to get to the rim. Shot deflected. Five to shoot. Step back three for Ant. Block. Cantor puts it in. <laughs> it's always a pass for Ennis. He's tracking that ball in flight. Two of three from the three-point line. Only had six points. So it's not like he was missing. He wasn't even shooting. Didn't even get to the free throw line. Chicago's last game was Monday against Boston as Cantor spinning and finishing. Nice. Steal. So Nasir Little doing some big things for the Blazers. Passes it to Cantor. Cantor rips it from Markin and puts it right back in. <laughs> Took it right from him. You help. You overreact to the person he's screening for. And here they go off and running. DJ to the rescue with Gary. Blazers working around. Cantor, easy stuff. And we have a timeout on the floor. Minnesota calling for it. So the Blazers do a good job of answering the steal by Rubio and getting some easy points at the bucket. Blazers looking sharp here in the first.
rookie out of Washington had a career high 20 points in that victory over the Pelicans the other night. Lillard back to Cantor. Cantor already with 10 points. More, more fabulous footwork from Dame. He makes his cut, slows down like he might backdoor, then continues on the hand. The right wrist fracture, Blazers. Nice stop against Zion as he tries to go to the cup. Cantor splitting the defense for the lay-in. Taking it strong to the basket in his nose. The Pelicans average only four blocks a game. It'll stop the 18-5 run of the Pelicans. Lillard knifing through the lane. Cantor with the finish. Two plays in a row now. Dame picking apart the defense. His teammates delivering. But fascinating how we saw Cantor drop right there after yep. the hero curl. Yep, he didn't want the lob to add a bio to be completed. Lillard cross-court pass. McCollum trying to shake none. Here's Mello with Hero defending. Mello gets into the body of Adebayo. Cantor right there. And the foul is Ennis Cantor muscling opponents down low. Well, I thought Carmelo got hit first, and Mello thought so too. But this is one of those plays where you don't mind the whistle because Mello's winning have been an and one. Five points to go along with nine rebounds, seven assists. Under a minute left down in Miami. Blazers trail by one. McCollum goes baseline. McCollum can't feather it in, but Ennis Cantor and the Blazers insurance policy right there when they need him. With no deductible. <laughs> he just shows up. You just call him. And for the Blazers, as you integrate Nurkic back into the lineup and Powell, there is this adjustment period for the team, especially on the second of a back-to-back. -back. Yeah, the good thing about uh, Norman is he, he's plug and play. Oh, look how strong this is. Oh, oh Cantor lowering a shoulder and go. moving Bamba out of the way. And yeah. Yes. Great to see some Blazer fans up in there. Yes. Cheering for Nurk. That, that's just strength. Yeah. Here is McCollum. Double team. Covington whips a pass to Cantor. Nice find and finish. Beautiful play. You got a dive man in Ennis. And then you have your perimeter player in Roko, see the top of the key open. He was able to just call his own number. Here's oh. Lillard, finds Cantor for the slam. Yeah, a little bit more speed to that drive for Dame. He took two Grizzlies with him and then dropped it off to Ennis. <laughs> when Lavert caught that ball in the corner against the center. McCollum from Lillard. Cantor, offensive rebound, right back in. Look how slick he is, though. Did you see the push? Did you <laughs> did you see the two-hand push? It was so quick, the officials couldn't even catch All right. it. All right. I think I can get two or three skips. I think that, you can that, get there. Nothing more than that. You can get there. Oh, look at this. Lillard, another three. Back iron, Cantor, offensive rebound, spinning. Blocked by Samson, Cantor. He will not be denied. <laughs> Ennis Cantor attacking the rim. <laughs> Staying with it, the Turkish warrior. Blazers up by three. With the steal, looking to add to it. Blazer lead is 22, their largest of the game. Cantor, solid positioning, two is left, and the Blazers have taken over complete control of this game, up 24. You get so many rebounds through contact. Five to shoot, Lillard. Thought about the step back, Powell. Trapped in the corner by Jackson. Powell has to put it up, and Cantor. Taps it right back in. Two offensive boards, one possession. It's what he Remained does. In position it's to get is. the defensive rebound. 13 boards for Cantor. Lillard, this time a high scoop shot right to Cantor. Great pass, That's right, Lamar? Right. That's right. <laughs> Good pass. Keep it moving. So Cantor, a double-double here in the two rebounds away. Get into that franchise record, tying it. So there is Covington with the miss. Cantor ties his individual high with 26 rebounds now Powell catches on the perimeter puts it, it up Cantor ties the single game franchise record with his 27th rebound and a new individual record and along with that Lamar 12 offensive rebounds that is a single game Trailblazers record and it does look like the bench was aware oh there he goes and there's the record and his Cantor 28 rebounds a new single game record for the Trailblazers. Team to 99, under two and a half left. Powell pokes it out. Jackson scoops it up. 
Jackson tries to go glass after the pump fake. Cantor, keep going. Number 29. A slight roll on that, Lamar. Ellaby tries the jumper. Cantor can't get it. Bay catches two three and Cantor with 30 rebounds as the Blazer bench erupts. Pure jubilation over on Portland's sideline. The Rose in. Oh, stripped at by Cantor. The quick hands from Ennis. Put it right in front of him. He'll get it. And then Cantor trying to get positioning against Pirtle. Spinning. Ripping it through and cashing in. Pirtle was on the high side. Well, as Ennis is trying to rip that ball away. He goes the direction he actually needs to go anyway, even if he had full control the entire time. He himself with the step back. A totally different deal with this roster. And his quick spin to the baseline. Cantor with his first bucket of the game. Pushes the lead to 17 and nearly full court just to slow him down. That's his job while he's out there. Defense collapses. Cantor, a three-pointer from Cantor is good. His. So, if you, so if you had Ennis Cantor with the first three of the game on your bingo card, come on down. Tied up here. Cantor, the pump fake, and Ennis Cantor flexing on the rim. The right play. That's exactly what Ennis made. As the playmaker in the middle, you catch, you look, but if the defense does not commit to you, then it's your turn to take the shot. You mentioned that really missing a beat without Jamal Murray. Obviously, he makes a huge difference for them, but they continue the quality play. Cantor, oh, the one-two step, and a chance to make it three. Oh, you'll find somebody, an elite rebounder. The pass. Lillard drops a dime to Cantor for the slam. Seven and a half assists per game is what you will get from Damian Lillard by himself. And then on the flip side, the Blazers, we've seen them allow Ennis Cantor to go one-on-one -on -one against Jokic. Porter Jr. bothers it. Cantor goes right back in. So the Blazers giving the Nuggets a taste of their own medicine. The offensive rebound and put back. Blazers will get another chance on this trip down the floor. Lillard has been defended by Gordon the majority of the second half. And Cantor, nice little finish from the Lillard dime. Long pass on this three off the front. Covington with the sixth rebound. Powell over to Cantor. Nice find, and Cantor with the easy lay-in. High screen, a roll on that side of the floor. It's in transition. There's no help defense prepared to it all night. Kicks it out to Powell. Powell, no good. Lillard, the offensive rebound. CJ thought about it, steps into the triple. Cantor, offensive rebound, puts it right back in. Do you, Ennis, do what you do. The best offensive rebounder in the league.